Ottawa Constable Christina Nielsen has pled guilty to a single count of discreditable conduct. This has to do with two separate donations she gave, one on January 23rd, which is a week before the Freedom Convoy arrived in Ottawa, and a second donation on February 4th. After the GoFundMe was shut down by the company itself on February 4th, a give, send, go was started, if you recall, and Officer Nielsen again gave the same amount, $55. That's right, this is about $55 being donated. Constable Christina Nielsen was recognized for exemplary service in the Canadian Navy as well as being commended for assisting in a dangerous rescue as a rookie cop. She's 41, joined the Ottawa Police Service in 2013, and her maiden name is Korea. She jumped into the Rideau River as a rookie cop and helped save a teenage girl who had jumped off a bridge. She spent 10 years in the Canadian Navy, deployed to the Persian Gulf twice, as well as Afghanistan, was selected for century duty at the War Memorial in Ottawa for Remembrance Day in 2006, and now she's being purged. The government and banking system has been using hacked data to identify donors to the Give, Send, Go, and according to the data dump, her donation was posted as Bo Levi Nielsen. When I play hockey, I wish I could see my dad smile. Thank you for fighting for our freedom. The same freedom my parents fought for overseas. God bless you all and please don't leave us. That's a beautiful message seen and written by the eyes of her child. I'm, I'm imagining right there. That's heart touching, heartfelt. And myself as a parent, I feel the very same way. Thank you. Thank you, Officer Christina Nielsen for your service for our country and for our freedom. Facts matter. Officer Nielsen donated both times before Ottawa Mayor Jim Watson declared a state of emergency in Ottawa itself on February 6th. That's separate to the Emergency Act that was invoked on February 14th by the Trudeau government. While the government at all levels funds socio-political movements when the powers that be agree with them, such as BLM, Pride, the Iranian women's anti-hijab protests, the Ukrainian-Russian conflict. If you go against the prevailing government ideology, it's clear that you'll be purged from any official role. This is a political purge, to be clear. To remove any civil servant, peace officer, any enforcer or policymaker at all that dares to think differently. As the Japanese say, the nail that sticks up will be hammered. Down. I'm personally at the point where I have no faith, zero, in any politician or the system. I'm looking after my family and I'm getting back to work because I don't think my freedom is going to be gained by putting hope in anyone else. Here at the War Campaign, we'll be watching and bringing you the facts around the Emergency Act inquiry that's starting on the 13th of October. We're not going to quit, brethren. And I'm going to put my effort into breaking it down to facts so everyone can see clearly how bad our system really is. I appreciate everyone out there working on their own corner of the great freedom tapestry. One day I hope to stretch out on that bear rug with you, brethren. Honor, accountability, integrity, and loyalty. Hail my brethren and hail freedom! I'm continuing to do what I do, getting the word out, and I humbly ask for your support in sharing it. The next few weeks here are all going to be to do with the Public Order Emergency Commission. I believe that is the most important. The circus, the dog and pony show that is going to highlight what the Trudeau government did during February. Speaking of life going on, growing up loving comic books in my adult life, I set myself a goal to put out the best graphic novels that celebrate real heroism. I want my kids to know what it means to be a hero. My name is Rohan Kumar Paul, and I live in Ottawa with my mother, wife, German Shepherd, and five children. We're blessed that you're here, brethren, because it heartens me to know that there are others out there that share our concern for a better future for our country. Like many, many others, I paid a cost for my non-compliance, and I was fired for being outspoken and attending the Freedom Convoy in February. For over 22 years, I've been a professional computer programmer. I've been running a comic book graphic novel company for the last few years as well, and I really hope you'll take a gander. It's a great way to support us, and the third book in the Vestige series will be available for sale in a week. If you're just getting on board, you'll be able to pick up all three graphic novels together. It's a great way to support us, a 360 degree win, as you get an epic fantasy graphic novel that makes a great gift for the young and old, and you keep me doing what I'm doing here, getting the word out. Take a moment and share the link with someone you know. I think there's a lot of people out there 
that value their freedom and want change. Let's give it to them, brethren, with a return to those old school values. Honor, accountability, integrity, and loyalty. Hail, brethren, and hail freedom!